Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Chunders. Today we are going to be making an omelette and the beauty of this dish lies in its simplicity. It literally takes no time from start to finish and tastes amazing. But what I love more than anything is that you can personalise this completely, add in what you like, add in what you've got, you know, needs using up in the fridge. Whatever it goes, it's yummy, it's mm, perfect. So I'm going to get take over the very few ingredients you're going to need um, and we can get started. As I said, there's not really many ingredients at all, which is great. For the actual omelette bit, I've got three eggs, about 150 ml of milk or about a quarter of a pint, salt and pepper. And then for my filling, I'm just going with bog standard cheese, but add in what you like here. Very simply, all I'm going to do is crack my eggs into my little bowl of milk. making a massive mess as I do it, because that's fun of cooking. Three eggs go in, really decent pinch of salt, as I've mentioned in my other videos, under seasoned eggs are not the one, and you wanna make sure they pack a punch with flavor, and a good pinch of pepper. Again, I'm using white pepper, I like it more than black pepper in eggs. Just gonna really thoroughly whip these up with a fork, nothing special, just want them really well combined. My frying pan's over a medium, medium high heat. All I'm gonna do is plonk in the eggs, like so. As the egg on the outside starts to cook, I'm just gonna drag it into the middle to make, just speed up the process, really. And there's only a slight little jiggle on the top from the egg, so most of it's cooked now, but the moment of truth, flipping it over. So you wanna make sure as they all come away from the pan before you give this a go, otherwise it's just gonna end up in one big mess. But if it does, just pass it up a scrambled egg. Right, there we go. At this stage, you wanna chuck on all your filling, so I like to put my cheese on, so it starts to melt now. Mm -mm -mm. Smells yummy. The other side's have a little chance to cook. Now I'm just gonna fold it in half. Again, making sure it's nicely away from the bottom before you do this, just to make sure that, that all that cheese gets a good chance to melt. And then, pretty much ready to plate up. So, here we have it. I've just plated it up with a very simple cucumber and tomato salad. Makes for a perfect light lunch. But, oh, I don't know whether you can see this, but just look how fluffy those eggs are. And that's just mm, perfect and... Mm. Mm. As I said, really simple light lunch. But, you know, Set with some chips, so that with some like um, veg or something, and you've got a brilliant dinner as well. This is such an awesome recipe to have in your arsenal as a student because it's just so versatile and so easy and so it tastes good, which is really important. Um, give it a go, let me know how it goes. Um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, like this video if you like my recipe, and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome student food. I'll see you soon. Bye.